are coming off a five and five year. Uh, you know, missed out on the playoffs, but had a nice second half surge to give you guys a chance there in week ten. Got some good pieces back. Uh, tell me how things are going so far. Well, I tell you, the, the day after we finished playing last year on a Friday, we had a team meeting that Monday. We talked about what we liked from the year, what we didn't like from the year, what we need to do to change it. And I put it on, which was the junior class at that time, our current seniors, that our offseason has to be much better, much stronger, more senior leadership. Kids need to get in the weight room, work physical fitness, those things. And I would say to this point in time when we came to camp, I saw that difference. I've seen some great senior leadership. I think we're bigger, faster, and stronger than we were last year. And therefore, we're going to be more prepared to go into the season. And that gives us a fighting chance, and that's what we wanted. I like seeing the numbers that I see out here, too. That's got to be nice for you as well. It is. We have a good group. We have a pretty, pretty even group across all four. We've got kids that... Uh, and we've stressed, hey, all of you guys are going to con contribute for us and help us out. So we're challenging each other in each position. Absolutely. Now, you know, Michael really showed some promise for you guys, obviously, last year. Quarterback, 17 TDs, 6 INTs. Uh, really had a nice year for you guys. What have you seen as far as his development in the offseason? Well, I think physically he's much stronger. You know, he's up to about 180 pounds now. Uh, you know, he's, when he started as a sophomore, we asked him to be a game manager. Now this year as a senior, he needs to be a playmaker. He needs to be able to make some plays. He's very very smart. He knows what our offense is, so it allows us to be uh, a little bit more diverse in what we do, which is always good, at, and making sure all the players are in the right spot. So I, I feel, obviously, a coach feels much more comfortable going into the season when you have a third year returning starter, and we need to build off of that. Now, uh, as far as the O-line and the D-line, you talked about that, you know, you got to develop there a little bit. How's that process coming along? You know, that has been our question mark. You know, the skill is, is returning, but the offense and defensive line is going to be primarily new. And I'll tell you, you know, we've had, so far we've done okay, but I'll, I'll know a lot more after all of our scrimmages are completed and we get into our schedule. And as I told the players, I'm not looking for five offensive linemen. I'm looking for eight, nine guys that can get in a rotation. Same thing defensively and, and trying to enlist more of our players you know, to play throughout the season. So um, that story is untold yet. We'll find out where we're at, but at least we know that we've got the guys working. They understand the scheme that they need to run. We just need to work these two scrimmages and get better and better. Uh, defensively, you guys gave up 33 points a game last year. Really uncharacteristic for you guys. Uh, what do you need to do to tighten things up on that side of the ball? We looked at a lot of that over the summer, or excuse me, over the winter, and looked at it. Was it, was it scheme-oriented or was it execution-oriented? And we felt like certainly it was execution oriented but we also felt like the scheme wasn't consistent with the type of players that we have to excel in and um, so therefore we made some drastic changes defensively we, we've taken a whole new attitude towards that uh, I liked what we've done so far, but once again, as we get tested early in, a, in our season, we're going to go up against three very good offenses right off the bat in Kirtland, NDCL, and Woodridge, so we'll know more about that. But, you know, schematically, that's one thing, but you've got to be able to get off blocks, you've got to be able to tackle people, you got to put pressure on a quarterback, and you got to defend in the secondary. And those are things, regardless of how you line up, you got to do a better job of it. And that's what I feel we need to do. Definitely. Now, you know, CBC, obviously, things change there with Aurora Kenson moving out, Geneva coming in. What do you make of the league? Well, you know, I, I once again, we don't know much about Geneva at all and haven't played Beachwood in a long, long time. Uh, I do know schools like Perry and, and, uh, and uh, West G are coming back with significant players, experienced coaches, and they're going to be a tall order. I think it also, though, lends for some of the schools like a Wycliffe, like an Orange, um, you know, that maybe in the past have been out, outsized, outmanned. Those guys are going to feel I think they're going to start seeing expansion in their youth programs, which is eventually going to make a, a difference for it. So the CVC, uh, way back in the days when I was at Solon, it's a great conference. It always will be a great conference, and I expect this year to be no different.